hello guys so in this video i will be explaining you about uh, how to do different kind of visualization of uh, data using r and the library ggplot2 so uh, i will also explain in this video that what is uh, numerical variables and what are categorical variables so uh, let's begin by importing the library ggplot2 if you have not installed it you you should install it using the command installed at packages gg plot 2 and then then select and then hit control enter and now import this library gg plot 2 and the library mass and then store this uh, birth wt data set in the object data frame so this is the data set which we are going to visualize using the uh, library gg plot 2 so there are 189 observations and uh, 10 uh, variables or 10 columns out of which some will be numerical and some will be categorical so how to see that which of these are numerical and which are categorical what you can see either you can read the data and then make sense out, out of it to see that which of these are uh, numerical and categorical variables so just write help birth wt which is the name of the data set and on the on the right hand side you can see that uh, there are the, there are meanings of each of these columns low age lwt race so if you click here you see that these are the column names and 189 observations are there so if you if you click here on the age the minimum value is 14 and the maximum value is 45 and you see that it is continuously varying lot of unique values are there 32 34 35 45 so starting from 14 till it is 45 and then if you see race uh, it is also uh, there are numerical values but the, this is not a numerical variable because if you see that race is mother's race which is encoded values as one if race is white two if the race is black and three if otherwise so this is just encoded values and encoded values can be numerical and can be um, can be uh, character variable uh, can be character values so you could encode uh, white by a black with b and other with c but here it is encoded as numerical values so you should not be confused that race is a numerical value uh, variable so you should uh, know that race is a categorical variable in the smoke smoke is uh, zero when uh, when the person is not smoking during the pregnancy and if if she uh, uh, if she is uh, smoking then it is uh, one so now in uh, if you see the bwt which is also a birth weight in grams in the right hand side you can see that BWT is birth weight in grams so minimum value is given 709 and the maximum value is 4990 just click here on BWT and check the minimum and maximum values so BWT is again a numerical variable LWT age these are numerical variable rest of them are seems to be uh, categorical and they are so race smoke PTL HT uh, because there are only one or two or three unique values and they seems to be categorical because they we cannot subtract them like uh, race uh, one two three so you cannot subtract uh, race is equal to three minus one because it does not make any sense so this is numerical and categorical variables if you want to see the number of unique values in in each of the columns so just write this function as apply data frame function length unique x if you don't know about this i have already explained in my first video in this course uh, how to use as supply so just select this you can see that number of unique values in age is 24 and bwt is 131 and uh, lwt is 75 these three are um, very high values so and this is a numerical variable and race is a categorical variable so for uh, distinguishing between numerical and categorical variables you need to uh, read the meanings of the variables in the data set and also you can check the number of unique values in in each of the columns so now let's convert 
so to treat the categorical variables uh, you should uh, convert the categorical variables into factor variables so just write, select write data frame dollar low as dot factor and write this so all these will be converted into factor variables so in this video i have just explained you what is numerical and what is categorical variable uh, you have imported the data set and you have seen that which of these are numerical and which of these are categorical variables in the next videos i will be explaining you uh, that how you can uh, do the scatter plot uh, bar plot histogram and density plot and different kind of visualizations for say if you have only one numerical variable what you can do if you have two numerical variables what are the possibilities and if you have one categorical variable what you can do in that way you can uh, i will be uh, explaining in each of these that how to uh, create a plot for each of the, each of the combinations of uh, uh, continuous variables or and categorical variables so in the next video i will be explaining you about the scatter plot so thanks for watching this video